Hi, this is Victor here from Penguin United, here to show you how to use the brand new advanced calibration system for the Eagle Eye 3.0 firmware. Before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about what we're using today. We're using um, Call of Duty Black Ops, um, the newest game by Treyarch, with a Logitech G500 mouse set to 3500 DPI, and a Logitech K200 keyboard. So, before this takes too long, how about we just get started? Okay, so to start calibrating our dead zones, first we press F1. After doing that, start scrolling up, and as you can see, the cursor will start to move to the right. So, basically what you want to do is start scrolling down until the cursor completely stops. So there's no movement happening in the background. Alright, that looks like it's it. Okay, so after doing that, just press F1 one more time, start scrolling up again, and as you can see, it'll start moving in this diagonal motion, start scrolling down. You're going to want to do this about three more times. So now we're going to do dead zone three. Start scrolling down. Four. Scroll down and five. Scroll down. Alright, and after finding each of the dead zones, just press F6 and look at how much smoother that is than what it was before when the video first started. Way better. Alright, so now next we move on to the X and Y sensitivity. next step in our advanced calibration system is calibrating your eagle eyes X and Y axis sensitivity to your liking. Before we do this, it's important to first adjust your in-game sensitivity to your desired preference. I like to have a low sensitivity because I prefer more control and precision to overall speed. Now we're going to start with the X sensitivity, so press F2 and start scrolling up slowly. And with each click, test your horizontal mouse movement scroll up to increase the sensitivity and down to lower it. Once you have your ideal sensitivity, press F6 to save. Then, to calibrate your Y sensitivity, press F3. You will notice that your crosshairs will start to move in a cross up and down and left to right. The left to right is your X sensitivity and the up and down is your Y sensitivity. For optimal performance, it is important that they are as equal as possible. So start scrolling up or down until your up and down motion is approximately the same as the left to right motion. Once they're similar, press F6 to save. The next part of our advanced calibration system is adjusting your eagle eye's angle correction. Essentially what this does is improve your, the smoothness of your horizontal and vertical movement by reducing unintentional diagonal movement that occur when you move your mouse in a straight line. Be sure to not go crazy with angle correction. If you set it too high, your eagle eye will ignore all diagonal movement. So our goal here is to improve the overall smoothness of your movement without sacrificing your diagonal movement. So start by pressing F4 and slowly scroll up. Make sure to test your vertical and horizontal mouse movement as well as your diagonal with each click. Once you feel that you have your ideal angle correction, press F6 to save. The final step in our advanced calibration system is our new rotation speed limit tuning. Every game has a certain point where the turning speed doubles when the game believes you are trying to turn around. This sometimes causes problems with your mouse movement and creates erratic on-screen movement. This allows you to reduce the unintended acceleration in your mouse movements, but this modification is recommended as optional because you are essentially trading overall turning speed for accuracy and precision. Even though this is recommended as optional, we thought it was good to include more features so that you have more options in your customization arsenal. To adjust your rotation speed limit, press F5, and you will begin to spin very rapidly. This is your maximum turning speed. Slowly begin to scroll down, and you will start to notice a much slower spin on screen. 
don't want to reduce speed too much because it will make turning around very difficult. The ideal setting is one that increases your precision, but that doesn't inhibit your turning speed too much. Once you think you've found your ideal setting, press F6 to save. Well that includes this instructional video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it very informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our latest Eagle Eye videos.